From the age of 15, when I realized that the voracious appetite that I had to read that could not be quenched, that being a librarian wasn't going to cut it because I had discovered that along with my love of reading and my love of words, I was also a frustrated actress. And all this was at high school. So the combination of being a frustrated actress and being a little bit in love of the drama, as well as my love of words and my love of reading, I thought by the age of 15 that law was the occupation that I'd have to pursue. Having gone through three delightful years in the law faculty in Barbados and I had met some great people in the faculty, not to mention my classmates, when we matriculated to the law school, we thought that we had arrived, that we were seeing the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of studying. But my sojourn at the law school made me realize that in terms of becoming a good attorney, that the journey had truly just begun based on the breadth and the depth of the um, curriculum. Well, the, the curriculum was quite varied and uh, certainly my colleagues and I we enjoyed it. You had the experience in terms of um, legal aid. You had um, an exposure to accounting. And in fact, there was one tutor member who we had very, 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 very experienced attorney, senior attorney um, in private practice. And he told us about the concept of point three three that there will always be 0.33% because of the human condition of persons who, out of the 100%, that although they have been exposed to that which is right in terms of one's ethical conduct, you will still have that minority, 0.33, who will want to do that which is unethical. And make sure, he would say, that you will never end up being part of that 0.33 but being in the majority who embrace and exemplify the ethical conduct of what the practice of law is supposed to be all about. This humble prosecutor knew very early on, having looked at the law of evidence, having also learned about criminal practice and procedure, having um, seen some amount of advocacy when one observed um, courtroom practice as a student that my path, my vocation would be as an advocate in the public bar as a humble prosecutor. The essence of what assists an aspiring attorney whether that person wants to be a prosecutor or a defense counsel or to pursue any area of the law, conveyancing, probate, at the heart of it is good mentoring. So it is important that experienced attorneys who have over time benefited themselves from good mentoring and reaped success, having honed their skills, having been recognized for perhaps the excellence of their conduct as professionals, having been able to exemplify the fact that your reputation is your greatest non-depreciating asset it is incumbent on every attorney, seasoned attorney in that space, to in turn give back. Because irrespective of whether you are at the public bar or at the private bar, 
part and parcel of the discipline of law, I believe, has to do with giving some amount of service about self. <laughs>